Hi. I just wanted to share just a quick moment to show you this amazing book that I have rented from our public library. I know a lot of people want to own books and stockpile books and they feel like they have to order everything from Amazon. But go down and check out your local library. You can find some amazing books. And you can rent them for a bunch of times if you're like me and you check out a bunch at once and then you're reading five at one time. <laughs> anyway, the one thing that I did want to share with everyone is a section in this book that just totally blew me away. And this book is called Fundamentals, 10 Keys to Reality by Frank Wills, Will Sack. Will Zek. I don't want to say it wrong. Anyway, he is an absolutely amazing human being. This book is a beautifully written book. And if you love philosophy or theosophy or esoteric, and you're very uh, fascinated with space or anything like that, you will learn a lot from reading this. Or if you can uh, you can admit to yourself that there is more things that, you know, that don't seem to add up, that numbers seem don't seem to be random anymore. This is a great book, but the one thing that I did want to share was this one section right here. It says that the number of atoms, atoms in a single human body is roughly 10 to the 28th power, which means 10 with 28 zeros after it. That is the number, the number of atoms in the single human body. And we have all of these planets in our universe and stars in our universe but yet we have a whole universe inside our body. It's incredible. And that when the Big Bang happened, that God himself, herself, itself, God, our creator, our universe, exploded, exploded into the Big Bang. And it's atoms just split in two everything, this explosion that just exploded it all out, right? And then by song and music and vibrations, the atoms paired up or they repelled from themselves. And then you come down to eons of time to where we have humanity. And so you sit and think about it. If it's just that basic which we make it so complicated but if we contain God's spark of light because we are an atom atom which an atom can divide and then you have negative and positive or yin and yang so it's all God. It's all God. The dark, the light, the opposite, the same. It's all God. And it's all you, which is kind of hard to wrap your mind around that it's actually all you. But it is. So ask yourself this. If you love God with all your heart and all your soul, then why are you not taking better care of yourself? Because you are God too. And God gave you a magnetic field all the way around your body to protect you. But all you have to do is to do some, do some work. Because everybody has... A damaged magnetic field pretty much. We've countered traumatic events. 
We've had losses. We've been born into these lifetimes with other karma still attached to us for things we didn't do in our incarnations before. So we have things that, you know, we have imprints that get stuck with us. You know, those irrational fears you have of dark, deep water, and you don't know why because you've never really spent any time on boats. Just little things, you know, phobias, craziness, habits that it, you just can't seem to break and you don't know why. But your magnetic field we it is it's your god gift it's your god gift and so the question is is if you love god why are you not loving yourself more and we're gonna do that day by day by day by day but anyway back to this book here that last part i added but the part about the atoms in our body being 20, 10 to the 28th power, which is amazing because two is the number of teams and eight is the number of manifestation. So 28, I just find that very interesting. <laughs> and if you add one, two, and eight, you get 11, which is a master number which is really interesting. So how can, it, you know, everything is numerical. The numbers don't lie. We're numbers, we have a code. We just have to figure out what is our code? Is it in our birthday? The time that we're born is a cycle that we're born. What is it? Is it in our genetics? What is our code? So, I mean, we can explore that together. I'm still learning about all of that, but, um, this is a completely amazing book and I'm not totally done with it. But when I find something that I find that is very inspiring, I like to share it. But um, I definitely recommend reading this book because it is super. And I probably have to read it again because it is so deep. But it's it's so packed full of knowledge that you really have to read it a few times to, to completely absorb it. But I watched a few YouTube videos and he is an absolute gem. An absolute gem. I would have to say that he would have fit in very well around the time of the old philosophers. Plus he has a, a kind uh, godlight to him that's very illuminated. I hope that you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.